Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to switch from Kali Linux to Kali Purple. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know Kali actually Linux is a distribution based on Debian. So if you go actually to Wikipedia you can see that Kali Linux is a Debian derived Linux distribution. Okay and it's maintained and founded by offensive security okay so here as you can see i have installed the uh, kali linux which is the regular one which contains here as you can see in the menu just a lot of uh, offensive actually tools okay so in this video i'm going to show you how to install or actually turn this linux or Kali Linux to into Kali Purple. So Kali, Kali Purple actually is another distribution, but this time in addition to offensive tools, they have added some defensive tools. So here, as you can see on their official website, Kali Purple, okay. So here they said we have perfectly what we have specialized in offensive security. So we are now starting to branch into a new area defensive security. Okay. So this is Kali Purple. Okay. So in order to switch from the ordinary Kali Linux to into Kali Purple, we have actually to execute some commands. Okay. So let me go to the terminal here. So the first command that I'm going to do is actually to add a repo for Kelly Purple to the apt actually file. Okay, so let me paste here and this is the command. This is the first command. So we add here the Kali Rollin to the source.list file in order to update our distribution. So of course all the commands here you will find it in the description. Okay, so let's execute this command. Here we go. It has been executed successfully. Next, we have to upgrade actually our Linux here, Kali Linux. So, of course, I don't have to mention that uh, you have to run this uh, command using the sudo command, which means with root privileges. Okay, so the second uh, command that I'm going to use is this one. So first of all, we update the repos, then we perform full upgrade. So actually this will take some time depending on your connection and how far you are from the updates. Okay. So of course it will take some time in order to update and upgrade all the packages found in the repos. Now the progress of the installation has begun. Okay, the upgrade has been done. So we still have some couple of commands to execute. Okay. So the first one is to copy the content of a special directory to our home directory here we go so here it prompts us to overwrite the file or no so i'll answer just by yes okay 
also we have to execute another command in order to reboot our system So next, as I have told you, uh, Kali Purple comes with uh, some defensive tools. So we have also to install them using this command. So this cool, these tools include uh, some detect tools, protect tools, recover tools, and of course some Purple teams. So we need to install them. So I will hit yes. So of course it will take some time. Okay, now the tools has been installed. We can continue by uh, resetting the Kali menu using this command here. Here we go. Okay, now that the menu has been reset, so the final step is actually to reboot your system to make sure that everything is working properly. So let's reboot our machine and see what we get then. So let's log on now with our credentials and see what we get. Okay, here we go. So if you click on the menu, you can see that the, the defensive tool has been added. So there are some tools for identity, protect, detect, respond, and recover, okay? So indeed we have installed our defensive tools in addition to our offensive tools. And of course a lot of uh, wallpapers, so I'll choose uh, this one for example with Kali Purple, okay? So we have successfully actually turned or switch from the traditional Kali Linux to Kali Purple. So that was just a brief uh, actually video to show you how to switch from Kali Linux to Kali Purple. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.